Luna. Okay. We are live. You crazy Luna. boggers. Luna. What? Spike's back. Oh, dear God. <laughs> there we go. Um, door. What? Welcome back, Spike. We be recording. We're back. It's yeah. been a while. It's been a Hello. month. Fuck it. I'm just going to go all out. Welcome, everybody, back to the... Fuck all, what is it called again? The um, Table Round g Gaming... Round or game Table Gaming Podcast, you dumb shit. It's so long that I forgot the name. I'm kidding. But um, we're back, and so is Spike, and we have a special guest. Um, <laughs> name is um, Satan. So please no, welcome... What? that star, you dumbass. What? Silver what star. Hell? Get it right. <laughs> He's not as bad as Satan, man. I mean, he's he evil, worse. but damn, he's not that evil. If he has a YouTube <laughs> That's what you think. in the Discord, and then I'm going to have to remember to uh, try to post. keep our in, in, in before in, there. In, in before we get a DMCA for mentioning Satan. Whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, right. welcome back to the podcast. Um, we're here. I'm going to truck again. Uh, I met to record last week, but I literally completely forgot all about it because I was just so tired that I could not be bothered. So, uh, we're back. I'm sorry, Luna. And I'm playing Ragnarok online. God Actually, I'm pretty why. sure we were all last week anyways with D&D &D and whatnot. Because I, I had... Playing. My late birthday last week on well, kind of Saturday when I came back, because on Saturday when I came back, um, we had the cake and ice cream, and then Sunday through Wednesday we were all like, well, we, we don't know when we want to do um, Jap Steakhouse, so we were like Sunday, all right, so let's do it tonight. Let, let, let's just do it tonight. And that way we, we do it. We had meatloaf that night. <laughs> so Tuesday, no, Monday comes around. And I'm like, okay, uh, how about tonight? And mom's like, no, let's do salmon instead. So then you Wednesday comes. It. Yeah, I know. Nobody was feeling it. So then Wednesday comes around. I'm like, <laughs> well, I got to leave on Friday. So let's just do it today because I want to go to record store to look for records because I got a record player um, for my birthday and whatnot. And just to be clear, you're still available for D&D &D all night, right? Because mm, we're using no. our precious time here. Well, yeah. not all night. And we're only using up an hour. Um, but not all night because I got to wake up at Let's see. I gotta be there at 7, so I'll wake up at like 6. Well, and... we could always put the the D, D thing in the part of the podcast, maybe. No, no. I mean, if we wanted to do D, D live, we'll freaking live stream it. Why? Yeah, whatever. There's nothing to re record. Exactly. There's really nothing to record. Plus... We, we I'm don't not have a graphic interface. I'm not the greatest editor. Plus, we would just be talking about bullcrap for like 30 minutes and then do like D&D &D stuff for five minutes. And it, it'd just be constant back and forth. I was just trying to think of... Well, it would help if you were around more. It would. Well, well yeah, Spike. Well, yeah, Spike, but... Don't forget that I ha ha happen to have a job as a truck driver, and I happen to have time now. Um, so we're just gonna get the podcast over with, and uh, we'll do more D and D. That being said, um, gaming wise, Spike, you you got the switch, did you? No, he no. Didn't. You still didn't get the switch. Um, but no, you, I said you, I'm do got, you do got the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U, though. Yes. 
Good. We now we have a five minute review of the game. Go. You want me to fit all that in five minutes? No, just just That's talk about what you like versus... about the game. No, it's it'll be less than five minutes. Oh. It's a review, so take it away. Great game. Great graphics. Uh, harder than Dark Souls. <laughs> well, tell some story. Have you been doing the story or what? Yeah, that's why it's harder than Dark Souls. I feel <laughs> like before you go to do the story, it wants you to do literally everything else. <clears throat> well, of course. Uh, it wants you to get to all the side task shit. Well, the, anyway. The map is probably bigger than uh, Skyrim's and whatnot. Okay, survival system, great environment, horrible enemy placement, because enemies that can one-shot you are paired together with very low-level enemies. And, uh... Bitch. Also, bird person and fish person, best people ever. Uh. <laughs> So, um, Sylvan, you have a YouTube channel, right? Eh? Yes, I don't use it, though. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't use it? Why not? I don't do things that are worthy of recording. Like, yeah, same here. You don't game? He's I like do me, game, doesn't but have I don't the face have recording stuff. Whatever. Well, we're going to be doing a lot of streaming <laughs> here, uh, podcast. I'm not sure if I've said this already to you, but um, we. Well, I'm going to be doing a shit ton of streaming. Um, Spike has been doing a lot of streaming lately on his Xbox One, um, and I'm not sure if he's going to do more streaming when he gets his new computer. Probably. Assuming I can have my computer sitting in my lap without hurting my legs, that is. And assuming yeah. I can get a gaming mouse, which I think I should just bundle with my computer. And I think, I don't know, um, Chalinor is it the streaming type I happen to know. Well, it's not that... I don't, I don't know what it is with him and, and streaming, but he just doesn't do streaming. I don't know why. He doesn't do people. Uh... He doesn't do people, but he could stream. And if you that's ask him to, he probably will. Yeah, that's probably the thing. He he wouldn't he wouldn't want to interact with the crowd, and that's yeah, pretty I much think the he'd whole... be fine with that. It's just when he streams, it's usually just for us. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose. But with roundtable gaming, though, we're going to be doing a lot of interacting with, um, you know if we ever happen to get a big enough audience to, you know, get a crowd and whatnot. Like we did with Loadout? Yeah. I'm so sad really. that that game died. Not, so well, sad. yeah. But we didn't get that much response, actually. Not, not yeah, as much people, as... people responded more to my uh, um, my horror game instead. Well, that's because yeah. we live in the day and age of horror gaming. Well, horror gaming has been taken. Ah, uh, Penumbra. Well, that was the name of the Penumbra. Horror games in general have just been taken a downhill. There hasn't really been any good horror games, and recently... Resident Evil 7 is um, the best horror game out right now. No, if you want me to do another horror game, I'll do one I can actually comment on and we'll talk about it and stuff. Among the Sleep. Yeah. But That's the, thing the is game that, I'll do. You know, I want to try to keep up with, uh, with the market in games because... That's, I, I think that's pretty much how we're going to get views is, you know, how quickly we can get the games, how quickly we can do gameplay, and, you know. And the thing is, um, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of streaming. So maybe streaming will be the way to go in the future of Roundtable Gaming. 
instead of YouTube. Yeah, and also not to mention the fact that in order to get streaming games, we and have to have money. streaming and recording said stream is what we do, which we don't have money except for you because you have a job. Well, yeah, but we could also well, like Spike said, we could stream. But my idea is is that we upload highlights to YouTube and whatnot. That will get people to kind of watch our stream. I don't know. Other I people do it. Stream Final Fantasy Fifteen. That was good. Then I saved the video. Yeah, I didn't stream when I was playing it. I I, I met the stream and I just completely forgot about it. I mean, we could stream Final Fantasy Fourteen when we get our computers and when Luna is ready to get it and whatnot. I don't need my computer to play Final Fantasy fourteen. I play on the PlayStation Four. I know. I need. I need my uh, new computer enabled to play it. Yeah, he's still on a three. <sighs> I don't <sighs> know. Odds are it'll actually run on a potato. Yeah, it pretty much. Oh, is. it'll actually run on a potato. Okay. But well, will it run on it. a mashed potato? I don't it's, know. I'll have to try that. It's a ma it's mashed potato mixed with peas. How's that? Oh, shit. I forgot that those things could Ew. actually put you to sleep. <laughs> you guys remember that spores could actually put you to sleep in uh, Ragnarok Online? I haven't played that game. I have no like, idea what that game even is. It's I've heard of it, but... What the hell? Yeah. You guys are so making me feel old. You are old, Luna. And that being said, E3 is coming up. Because PAX East just ended. I can't find any news whatsoever about <coughs> PAX East. So I'm assuming nothing happened. Like, nothing important happened. Or else I would have fucking heard, uh, seen fucking anything. Well, I'm so, going to have to put my usual uh, prediction, which will never come true, because what? fuck you, Valve, um, Portal 3 <laughs> and Half-Life 3. You're uh, you're hoping they announce Half-Life 3, huh? Well, I think everybody's more hoping, hoping for that. Portal 3 than Half-Life 3, but that's just me. Yeah. The thing they is, keep showing well, us playtests of Portal 3, but haven't officially announced it yet, and I'm getting frustrated. The thing is, though, I don't think they will ever, ever, ever announce a Portal or Half-Life 3, because the hype for these two games are so fucking big that Valve will never be able to pull off the amount of hype. Because it, we've seen what hype it's does. It's been too long. It's been too long, so no matter what they give us now, it will never live up to the hype. Exactly. We, we've we seen what hype does. Look at No Man's Sky, for the example. Only way no, that what they'll... hype does to No Man's Sky is hype made us fall for his lies. Exactly. Yeah. And as far as... The uh, point is, Half-Life 3 could be a great game. It could be an awesome game, but it won't live up to the hype, because it's just been too long. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as... Uh... Portal 3 goes, even if they were to release it tomorrow, it'd never work because they waited too long. Yeah. Well, Not maybe it's exactly. Good. Maybe Portal, it's good. Portal because, 2 came out in 2012, right? Yeah, and uh, don't forget that nobody expected a Portal 2. Because Portal 1 was just. Portal. I mean. It was just, you fight Gladys, and that was it. We didn't really expect anything else. And then Portal 2 comes out of the blue, and they were like, holy fucking shit! I actually kind of miss Portal 2's commercials. Those were yeah, some great I, commercials. Those were some really awesome commercials. Oh my god. I remember when um, Spike pretty much forced his mom to um, go buy Portal 2, and we pretty much played... Uh, Portal 2 all night long. Well, that's not how it happened. I forced her to take us to buy it. I have money. Oh, right. 
Well, anyways, <laughs> he bought Portal yeah. Two, um, and uh, for Xbox 360, I think was it? Yep. And we ended up playing it for um, for Everybody pretty much all, all night, and the next day, and the day after. I can't remember how far we got either. We beat it. Wait, we beat it that whole night? Did you guys yeah, actually we do it. the co-op? Yeah. yeah. I watched him play uh, a little bit of single player before my mom picked me up at the time. Because uh, I was still in school. Um, oh my god. That, that was a really good time. That was like the first time I ever stayed up for, like, an all-nighter like that. Yeah, the first midnight release I actually stayed for was, uh, what you call it, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. It wasn't <laughs> a midnight release. Uh, it was over here in Tennessee. No, I mean Portal 2. Oh. We got it during the day. Yeah, we got it during the day, and it was, like, what, a couple weeks after it released or something? <laughs> Give or take. <sighs> Give or take. Speaking of the first midnight release, uh, my first midnight release, I think, has to have been one, about three TA4 or four five. Pokemon battles in a row. Huh. Yeah, but anyways, it had to have been GTA Five. What about what about you, Spike and Sylvan? Worst ever midnight release was Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. <laughs> no. Wait, why was that the worst? <laughs> Pokemon you Sun weren't, and Moon. You weren't there. <laughs> I was hanging out for hours at the GameStop, and That's the when we finally got in, it still, took, it still took hours for them to actually give us the game. And during all of that time, I have my 3DS with me. And nobody else had theirs. No, they had theirs. Oh, and and I was trying to play. To... And that's right. when I discovered I probably should have been connecting my 3DS to the internet. Because every single game I owned required updates. So I couldn't play with anyone. Oh. That sucks. So yeah, it was bad. I mean, GTA Five was a really bad release. Because we got it late at night. And it spent... It all it night took, installing. Yeah, it took freaking forever for it to install. We had to wait till the morning uh, to actually play it. Well, he played no, it. No, 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 no. We bought it on day zero. Yeah. We bought it on day zero at midnight. I pre yeah. It spent it. all day installing, and it finished around 4 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock yeah. for me. It was it was the best. <laughs> Just wanted to point that out because that was a very slow install. Yeah, it was. It really was, and I think half of it was probably because his mom, oh. or at least that he had at the time. Iron it sucked. Yeah. yeah. You guys' internet sucked, and actually, he was staying with his dad at the time. No, no. he was staying with his mom. Because I was there. Yeah. You sure? We were in the basement. There. We were in the basement. Yeah. Where you were at your dad. No. We, we were when at his PC mom. When PC released. When PC released, yeah. Yeah, when, when the PC, release, PC yeah. released. Oh my god. I can't believe I actually freaking transferred my fucking PlayStation 3 character to PC instead of just waiting until I could actually play it. I'm a fucking moron. Yeah, I'll well, agree with that. Why? Well, the be the best. Um, why, why is that significant? You can always transfer the character again if you get on another console. Yeah. No, I can't. I tried. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I can't. I but did I it. Can't. I well, you're too. gonna have to. You're, you're gonna have to teach me. Probably while we're doing uh, D and D later, because I have my Xbox One and I could do. Um, no, all you spot. do, all you do is go into character transfer and pick the one that's not on PC. You can't, 
You can't, yeah, you transfer, can't transfer from PC. From PC to, uh, the... You have to pick the one on the original console. The console you originally transferred from in the first place. Then you can yeah. pick that one <laughs> and you can transfer again. But do note that it's still going to be a copy of that character. None of the PC update. I don't care. Well, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Porn. You were about right. to start D&D? <laughs> no, because I we're you not... asked me what my worst Midnight oh, yeah. release was. Uh, yeah. Not your worst, your first. Oh, first? Oh, first? Yeah, I said first, not worst. <laughs> <laughs> we all heard worst. I heard, um, I heard my worst. First, my but... first was GTA Five. <laughs> but I didn't feel like correcting anyone, so that's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, my so... best one was Fallout Four. Fallout Four was the best. Yes. Uh, my my best uh, midnight release. Granted, I bought it on PC and I uh, did it digital anyway. Was uh, uh, Saints Row the Fourth? My best really would have been Civ Six. And that's because when I uh, or when it did the install, it took maybe fifteen minutes to install. I don't understand how you people can enjoy Civ. I love Civ. I don't Civ understand Civ. Civ myself either. So Civ I don't is know. Great. It is. It really is. And what Civ Six does, it's amazing. Give me a uh, uh, what you call it, it. Um, it's an amazing game. Give me an RTS like StarCraft, and I'll play that. Sh uh, play the shit out of that. Same. I Halo I love StarCraft Wars. too. Halo Wars. But you put me into a, a turn-based strategy, and I'm like. Well, no, 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 go play go play Halo Wars two so so we can get a review next week. I have Halo Wars two, Halo or not War next. You do? I would yeah, I've Halo got Halo Wars two. Yeah, I got the Ultimate Edition, so I've got both one and two. Hey, another review. Tell us about it. I haven't started it yet. <laughs> wow, <laughs> fucking wonderful. <laughs> we'll play it, and then in about two weeks time, two or three Steven, weeks time. Steven, Steven, well, Steven, so Steven, think of the kids. Think of the children. What children? What children? The adult oh, show. right. The man children. Oh, Look at yeah. my face. No. no, 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 no. You can't curse. Think Anyways, of the children, man. Fuck we you. I'll like... watch my fucking language if I fucking want to, you motherfuckers. I'm gonna fucking fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> well, anyways, we completely okay. just. Go ahead and bleep those out, out whenever you want to. So then. We completely phased out Sylvan, so he didn't even say what was his uh, first, worst, and best. For, uh, I can cover I all three of those at once. Sure, I haven't really. been to one. Oh, that is he actually really awesome. He hasn't been to one. Wait, what? <laughs> he hasn't I wait for one. a few months after the game gets cheaper. I never get it on the day of release. What? But, what? But, but... Belly would be proud of you. <laughs> yeah, really would. <laughs> You're yeah, fired. I'm not gonna get a game the day of release. I wait for somebody else to review it to make sure that I'm not getting a piece of crap. So that's you why I never got any of the GTA like, games. You pretty much wait for the for people like me, Spike, and Luna to buy the games at midnight and then play them. Pretty so much. I take it you agree that the Switch is a piece of crap, considering I... everything that's going on right now. I have not oh, well. seen how it works. I really want to do Breath of the Wild, but so far, its game lineup looks pretty awful. I know, right? It has, it has one other game of interest to me, and that is the replacement for F-Zero. I can't remember what it's called. Mario Kart 8 is also you for know. the Switch, but they're not oh. going to give any discounts for people that already have it on Wii U. Which is disgusting. DLC. It's fucking bullcrap to me. And I don't even Mario have a Wii U. Kart 8 Deluxe, keep in mind. Yeah. It's, it's barely deluxe. a Deluxe it's edition. A All it does is give you two extra characters and it lets you run eight people locally. Otherwise, it's the exact same game. Pretty much. 
It gives is me a character crap. that I like, though. It gives me Bowser Jr. It's still bullcrap, Spike. Yeah. Also, three characters. Bowser Jr., King Boo, and Dry Bones. Oh, three <laughs> characters plus three fucking maps. Oh, that's gonna make me buy a, week, uh, a Switch and fucking Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart the DLC is bundled. <laughs> yes, it's bundled. <laughs> yeah, you don't but, have to pay extra for the DLC. You don't have but, to pay extra for the DLC. Spike, nobody wants to pay another $60 for a game they... Oh, well, I say this, and we bought GTA 5 how many times? I only bought it five. twice. <laughs> five times. But I, I, I only paid full price once. I've bought GTA 5 officially twice. You know, the worst part about it... I bought no, it for the back. Xbox One twice. <laughs> I bought it for the Xbox One. Then when I was returning games to get a new game, I wound up returning GTA Five. Then I wound up wanting it again later, got it oh on God. sale, and that's when I bought it the fifth time. I mean, the only game that I've bought multiple times... A game times... so awful that I bought it five times. <laughs> Well, it's not game... that. It's fun to play the story. The only game that I bought it uh, bought it that many times was actually uh, what you call it, uh, Final Fantasy VII and Final oh Fantasy IX. Well, <laughs> anyway, two games that I uh, bought twice. Wow, what? Um, one of them was Titanfall Two, and that's because I needed to escape from the hacker community that is Titanfall Two on PC. And then I got Ori in the Blind Forest twice because the definitive edition, for some reason, was considered separate. That's retarded. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. It was dumb. The well, but it did add a... some very valuable yeah, right. backstory. Well, it's and that time of uh, it's that time of hour again to talk about what could happen at E3 and. It, because it's so early, we're probably just going to talk about virtual reality stuff. Because and we're probably also going to be talking out our ass. <laughs> My first well, guess is yeah, that I'm... Nintendo's going to crash and burn. Well, yeah. yes. It probably will in the next two years. Oh, I give it six months to a year. No, it, it, it's, I, don't, I don't think it will, it will crash in the next six months. Well, people... they release a console that's having a ton of problems... Look, and then they say that they're going to charge you to play on multiplayer on that console in, uh, by the end of the year. Yeah. Look, parents don't care. They will buy it for their children. Because that's what children want. Until their children say, do fuck we, this do shit. Do we want children, it? Children barely even know about Nintendo anymore. Everybody always wants the Xbox now. Yeah. Well, Everybody wants the Xbox and PlayStation nowadays. I don't know because there's still there's still kids that want to play Pokemon, Mario Kart, Legends of Zelda. Yeah, well, Pokemon is yep. handheld. Yeah, and so there's a the new Switch. Pokemon game coming. There's a new Pokemon game coming out for the Switch. Stars exclusively for the Switch. Yeah, that's probably going to be one of two things that are going to keep it afloat. The other things being Breath of the Wild, and the other being the next Smash Brothers. Assuming yeah, they ever do one, because I'm pretty sure the developer that said possibly... he was done making Smash Brothers. Yeah, those are what? the only not... things that could possibly salvage the uh, boat. What, not another Mario Kart? Well, maybe a Mario Kart. Not Mario Kart, Kart 8, but a possible 9. Mario Party huh? might actually crash it. I don't know. I, Mario Party I, I, won't well, crash it. It just won't do anything. I don't. I don't think anybody's been interested in Mario Party since the Nintendo sixty four days. The GameCube Mario Parties were really good. I've Especially never played Mario it, Party but I've heard. I've heard so many good things about them, and I feel so sad that I haven't been able to live that. I've got a demo for Mario Party Five. <laughs> it's got like five of the mini games. One of them is the best one. We talked about everything but virtual reality. Let's talk about virtual reality. Virtual reality last year was pretty much exploded out of nowhere. 
Because yeah. a couple of years, that's pretty much when the headsets and all the demos and all the tech stuff came out and only like the big YouTubers. Now it's starting to be more available for the customers like you and me. See, you say that, but they're still like a few They're still super expensive. And that's just for the headset. That's not even for the console or the computer that it takes to run I it. Know. I know. That's that's the other thing, too. I don't so see it started... happening anytime soon. Yeah, I don't think it's going to freaking price drop this year or maybe next year. I don't know. Uh, but... Right in the next 10 years. But really, the best thing that's going on right now is the PlayStation VR, which really isn't doing that much, really. I mean, supposedly I feel it's like doing, Steam really, VR well is doing well. really well. Well, supposedly PlayStation VR is doing well in the market, but that's just, you know, what they're saying so Sony can, like, you know, <coughs> try to get more people to buy it. And we all kind of figured that. You know, Sony wants to do their own thing. Sony makes their own virtual reality thing for the PlayStation 4. And, of course, it's going to be downgraded to, you know, console usage. So, you know, it's not a bad idea at all. But it's also a very bad idea. How is it a bad idea? Because Luna will explain. Wait, why? Why am I explaining Spike will explain. Spike will explain why downgrade virtual reality is bad downgrade yeah How the hell are you talking about what do you mean by playstation downgrade? vr playstation vr why would i know anything about the playstation vr exactly i thought you did knew knew something the hell, about man. it i thought you did no i, I know don't... nothing about it I know nothing about any of them. To be wow. honest with you, I don't know shit about that either. Well, we're still getting news about the, um, what's it called? The HoloLens from Microsoft. And supposedly those which are going keeps, to be... Uh, which keeps changing appearance, too. Yeah, I know. And I'm getting a feeling that that's not going to be for public use, but for, like, commercial uses. Uh, no. That's just what it that's seems actually that seen, it'll... That's actually how I've seen it marketed online. Yeah, I know. that. that that's what I'm, like, get the vibe from. Well, like, when I don't... When I mean the vibe, I mean, like, the feeling. Like it's gonna be sold to companies, not... Not the pe Not the public. Yeah. No, I think... Dude, every time they uh, debut it at E3, it's all about the types of games and the things you can do with it. Yeah, but the thing see, is, they Spike, say that, we but that's it. probably just for publicity. We didn't really see much of it last year. We saw a lot of it the year before, but not last year, and that kind of upset me. That's because they're busy. Well, I mean, they have something still else to release. Uh -huh. They. They had something else to release last year. Like yeah, Terraflops. I know. I know. And last year I was still also... I know what a Terraflop is. All, last year was also... Um, what was it? The uh, Xbox S? What S? Project Scorpio. Project Scorpio's this year. They'll, they're going to be revealing it this year. That's pretty much the big reveal that will happen at E3. I don't think it's been revealed yet. Actually, it's releasing <laughs> this month. This month? We know nothing about it, and supposedly it's releasing this month. Why is what? everybody being a fucking moron? Nobody what? seems to understand, hey, let's wait till E3 when stocks are up. We're getting money. Yeah, I know! We're about it. Let's sell it then! Yeah, Nobody gets that. Hyped. hyped. Hold on. Let me Ride the look. hype. Make the hype last uh, longer. Project Scorpio. God. What? Do it in the middle. Actually, yeah, unfortunately, uh, what you call Actually, it, never uh, mind. I nope. Never mind. I I know why. It's because people are gonna want to spend their money on vacations, not consoles. 
Well, the Scorpio is going to basically be a uh, a luxury item. It's not truly a console. It's an upgrade. Daily Express eleven hours ago. Wait. What? what you... It is a standalone console. It's just. It's not a new console. It upgrades and expands on the stuff the Xbox One already does. So yeah, basically, games will be specifically made to interact with it in a way that certain games will have better graphics and all that stuff on the score. So it's literally just a graphics upgrade. It's pretty, pretty much. much pretty much that. And uh, not to also mention, they mentioned this last year, uh, that you will be able to play any of your Xbox One games on the Scorpio. Uh, and any of your Scorpio games on the Xbox One, because it's not a console. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade yeah. to the Xbox. So it's it, luxury it's... Xbox One. So um, the page that I'm looking at right now is still saying um, release date is set for holiday season. Pre-order though. Well, then it must have changed. I thought it was releasing this year. Or it like is releasing this, this month, year, rather. No, you're probably looking at the pre-order stuff. Is get ready to freaking happen this month, maybe. I remember, I remember them talking about its release, and I heard March at some point. So what I the hell releases know. in March aside from Sea of Thieves? I have no idea what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> oh, the selling point for. The selling point for Scorpio is going to be its capacity for VR. Like, Xbox One will be able to do it, but it looks like Project Scorpio's main thing is going to be VR. Oh Dude, my so god! quiet that my headset is cutting you off. I my can't believe I completely forgot it. Sound. I, I can't believe I completely forgot about uh, the Xbox Just, Game uh, Pass. That out. I completely right. forgot about that. I think that's the coming X out this month. The Xbox Game Pass? Yeah, it's the thing that gives um, subscribers to it pretty much uh, unlimited like games, pretty much. Three, the 360 backwards compatibility library? Wait, what? Xbox and 360. Does Dude, that... Sylvan, you're, Sylvan, you're so quiet that my headset keeps cutting off what you're saying. Uh, hold on. It cuts yeah, off low fun. volume. This better? I can hear yeah, him. No, just... I can't hear you at all now. I'm joking. You're good. Might have to way better. Turn... Okay. Try turning him, up, turning him up on your Discord thing. That's yeah, not the problem. Steven, the problem is my I... microphone is unidirectional, so it only detects my voice from one direction, and it has the habit of just over the course of a few minutes turning itself away. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, Let's... Steven, I would have turned him up if I could. Phone Discord doesn't give me that option. Oh, wonderful. I can turn people down, not up. Really? That you could turn me down and not be able to turn me back up. I can turn I people turn up. up. <laughs> it's either 100% or less. I can't do 200%. I can put you to 200%. <coughs> I could put you to 200% not on, too. Not on phone, Discord. Ah. Uh, yeah. Because it doesn't want to blow up your speakers. Yeah. You guys yeah, wouldn't well, be I able think. to hear me if I did if I did Bluetooth Discord. <laughs> I actually see a um, release date for the Xbox Games Pass, but the confirmed titles are Saints Row 4... NBA 2K16, Mad Max, Lego Batman, Mega Man Legacy Collection, Terraria, Payday 2, Gears of War. I'm sorry? Blue Dragon, please. Hold on. Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Fable 3, Soul Calibur, bleh, Soul Calibur 2, and Tekken Tag 2. That's Soul all Calibur. Yeah. I could give Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. I'm so done with fighter games. Brr. So Brr. done with them. Cannot stand Tekken, I mean, cannot stand Soul Calibur, cannot stand Street Fighter. And it's coming out in spring, by the way, not this month. So, you know. It doesn't say like an official release date, it just says this spring. 
the only fighter game I'm even remotely interested in is Pokémon Tournament, and that's only because it has slightly more three-dimensional travel. I'm not even that interested but, in it. But but Injustice. Fuck Injustice. But Charizard. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, Charizard. Injustice doesn't have any three-dimensional capability. I know. I'm it just sorry. has environmental stuff to look like it. Yeah. All right. So, just a quick prediction. Um, Pokemon e tournament has a mix. It's three D and two D close range. Or uh, yeah, I know. That's why I have mild and interest and in it. <laughs> I don't have that much interest in it though. What <laughs> one thing? I also I... haven't had the opportunity to play it. Whereas Street Fighter, Tekken, I've tried those games and I just did not enjoy them. Okay. Well, anyways, what one game do you guys think will be w revealed, like, to a trailer to us at E3 this year? Just one that game. I'd say, I'd say Scalebound, but Microsoft killed it. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I, am, I, am I will forever be salty about that. Very that is, salty. That was technically revealed, like, two years ago, but... Steven, we were supposed to get it this year. Apparently, I know, they're not completing it fast enough, so Microsoft canceled it. But I... But I apparently, the story of what happened was Microsoft forced the developers to work extra, extra, extra hours. So to make up for that extra time they had to work, they had to take a small break, and during that break, Microsoft decided, Fuck you. nah, we're killing it. So they just well, fucked anyways, over all the developers. Yep. I met what I met is a new well, a game that hasn't been revealed yet. How can we predict a game that hasn't been revealed yet? Um, Jeez. Red Dead Redemption Two. That was revealed. It's yeah. been announced. That I met a revealed trailer. That's pretty much what I mean. It had a trailer. The replacement for F Zero. Now oh, fuck off. I, that's that's what it is. Anyway, no, 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 no. Go back to Red Dead Redemption Two. We haven't seen gameplay from it, so fuck off. We saw a trailer. Don't deny that's it. Trailer. That's trailer. That's nothing. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. I yeah. loved F Zero Two, but this is what they did to it. Wait, do we have a girl in this chat? I'm not we a do girl, now. fuck you. Oh my god, Poison is here. No, we have a uh, tomboy. That's yeah. Separate. I'm not a girl, fuck you. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. We have somebody who pretty much invaded the podcast. So, welcome. Oh my Poison. god, we're being invaded! <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we should start doing D&D &D now, because we only have two hours left. I've okay, been here... Well, well, let, let's just, um, couple, uh, well, y you guys, okay, reveal trailer and, and gameplay, name one game. Blarg. That, that's not a that, game. That sounds like a great game. <laughs> yeah, it's totally a great game. Is it developed and published by you? No, it's, uh, developed and published by Blarg Industries. I, oh. I don't think we get anywhere with this. So. <laughs> also, um, I have a I... guess that is guaranteed to succeed. What? Call of Duty. Oh yeah, it's totally. Oh my god, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. They're following Call of Duty's lead now. Yeah, also, yeah, because the Assassin's Creed movie year. came out. I think it's about to come out on DVD as well. So there has to be another game this year. Yeah, they didn't have an Assassin's Creed movie, uh, game because of the movie last year, didn't they? Yeah. Which the uh, movie fucking sucked! Um, what about the next Final Fantasy? Uh, the I episodic hope... series? Uh, like, what is it going to be now? Final Fantasy 16? Uh, I don't we're know. We're still waiting on the final DLC from uh, Final Fantasy 15. I'm. Oh, oh. I'm waiting Poss for the. Maybe Kingdom Hearts. Ooh, no, I, awesome. well, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, that might, but I'm still waiting for the Kingdom Hearts uh, final... 3 keeps skipping E3, so that needs to finally be at E3 again. Yeah. I don't... It has well, to it... be at E3 this year. They've been waiting too long. Yeah. I haven't even it... played the Kingdom Hearts games. <laughs> it's I've, just been watching... so I've been watching everybody Kingdom else in this dorm go after well, that. Well, if it doesn't happen this year, it's probably going to end up in the category of Half-Life and Portal. I'm just hoping like hell that with uh, with Final Fantasy VII HD remake, they don't do what uh, what everybody's saying that they're going to do and what it's looking like they're going to do. Well, again, it's going to be an episodic thing, so it's going to come out in like episodes or some shit like that. And I'm not liking the idea, but every step or every day that goes that. Um, Getting us closer to it, I'm kind of liking the idea because, you know, people work and, you know, they don't have time, you know, to play video games that much. So maybe an episodic series of a game that pretty much takes fucking forever to fucking finish anyways happens to be a really good idea. Fuck you. Give no, it me just it means you have to buy it. It just means you have to buy the game more, or buy the game with more money. Yeah, you can also just Basically, do the same thing. Basically, you're going to be spending buying... sixty bucks three times. Well, there hasn't been an official price yet. That's, that's just how the trend works. Look, look at Minecraft Story Mode. Look it at... totals up to more than a normal game. And it's okay. not even a well, game. No, 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 no. Because fucking Telltale isn't a fucking gaming company for one. Also, um, and look two, at StarCraft Two. I don't play that game. They released it in an episodic uh, way as well, and you and made you pay for it three or pay for each of the three. Well, uh, technically expansion. speaking, each expansion actually was the size of a whole game, almost. Almost. Starcraft one was still bigger. Had a well, lot I mean, more we... uh, maps in it. Well, you I mean, say we say that about we... almost every old game these days. New we games just aren't up to we could literally complain all fucking day about how much DLCs suck, but we don't have time. In fact, I think it's pretty much the end of the podcast. So, holy crap! Another six. Another six. Blog. Somebody, please say the word that I'm trying to say. Blurg. Podcast. Thank you. Another su successful podcast. You can't say and successful I, for some reason. Fuck off, I can't talk for whatever reason. Uh, so, holy crap. Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, and thank you, Sylvan, for letting me um, steal your voice for uh, this podcast. And um, all money and proceeds will go to uh, technology for Roundtable Gaming, a.k.a. And, means... Uh, any excess will go to charity, I guess. We well, no, that's not... Charity, no, 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 no. Excess that, no, no, goes that's... to Spike. You know what? Oh. All money just goes to Spike. L let's just no. leave it at that. No, no because no. I actually... Half of that money goes to me. <laughs> oh, no, because I actually happen to have a Patreon, and uh, I'll... I'll, I'll just, you know, whatever. Well, Luna will talk whatever. Well, name I'm the guest, so I feel like the money should go to me. No, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll make a separate PayPal account. You should be in here. No, no, no. I'll make a separate PayPal account and then pretty much divide the money up that way. He should be paying us to guest star, right? <laughs> Actually, you technically, me, I didn't ask you. Technically, <laughs> that's, you, that's you getting a favor from me. Technically, we should be paying him because he's in our show. Yeah, but we're giving him the honor of being here with us. You know what? He everybody gets paid. No, no, no. Everybody <laughs> doesn't get paid at all. I don't even get paid. You know what? Fuck it. We're all fired. Thank you guys so much for joining this podcast. <laughs> We will right. see you guys in another two or three weeks from now to talk more about games and E3 and news and shit and whatever the hell and we Dr. end up Pepper. talking about. And Dr. Pepper. <laughs> God, I love Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, later, people.
Say bye, everybody. Whoop, whoop. Bye-bye.